that you and me wear clothing produced by human beings who died in the process of being used to groom the breed. And I haven't even mentioned the cost of our habits in the water or the air and across the whole planet. The animals we slaughter, the crops that we damage, the natural resources that greed forces onto the masses because it is greed, but not yours. I believe you're probably good hearted. You sat there and listened because you don't want to look past this. Let's be clear. This doesn't all happen in fashion because you don't want to stop it. It's because corporations don't value lives as much as they do profit. It was take life or serve life. Murder or treason? Wasn't that the choice for the boys they were leading? Do we win the war when the ones that went before all marched out to cheers and they returned as a secret? When the next war begins, will it be you who fights it? And if we do fight, will it be you who decides it? Are we not a factor? Are you not their number? Am I just a madman? Do you never wonder? Just wonder. Just wonder. I'm a journalist for Vice. This is Ellie Mayo Hagen and Owen Jones, author of the establishment. I'm actually 50, I had a facelift. So. <laughs> I just want to pay tribute to Matt because he's an amazing journalist and he's a personal um, inspiration to me. You've, you've written a really good and really important book which I think very clearly shows how this global system works. Made from